Thank you for joining us to learn about recertifying as a CGRN. I am Sophie Huckabay, and I have worked as an administrative staff for ABCGN since 2012. Your, certifica your certification will always expire on December 31st, five years after your initial certification or last recertification date. For example, if you passed the exam or submitted your recertification application on May 31st of 2015, your certification will expire on December 31st of 2020. You can recertify by retaking the certification exam or earning contact hours and submitting a recertification application online. Recertifying by exam will be the same process as newly certifying nurses. You can find all the details in the, in the certification handbook on the ABCGN website. To recertify by contact hours, you will submit an online recertification application during the year you're due to recertify. In the application, you will enter the details of the contact hours you have earned since your initial certification or last recertification. Only contact hours earned after the date of your initial certification or last recertification can be counted towards your current recertification. The professional requirements for recertification are the same as those for your initial certification. Within the past five years, you must have worked full-time for two years or 4,000 hours part-time as an RN in GI endoscopy. You must also have an R a current RN license issued by a U.S. state. You can start your online application at any time. This is a great way to keep track of your contact hours. You will not be able to submit your application until January 1st of the year you're due to recertify. You must submit your application by December 31st of the year you are due. It is highly recommended that you don't wait until the very last week of December to submit your um, application, as December 31st at 11.59 p.m. is a hard deadline. Submitting early will give you more time to earn contact hours for your next recertification as your certification will always expire on December 31st and it will give you time to correct any errors in your application if necessary. You can track your hours in the online application or you can send in Submit Per Year Applications. The Submit Per Year Application is a paper form found on our website that can be mailed in with check payment and a portion of your recertification fee. You must earn at least 100 contact hours, 80 of which are GI specific, and 40 of your GI specific hours must be earned from live nursing seminars. Category 1 for live nursing seminars is the only category with a minimum. If you chose to, you could earn all 100 of your contact hours in this category. So there are many different ways to earn contact hours. CEs or CNEs are the type of contact hour provided for continuing education for nurses. One CE or CNE is one contact hour, usually 60 minutes. Some states, though, do count 50-minute contact hours. You can earn contact hours in 13 categories. You are required to earn at least 40 contact hours from live nursing seminars to provide the opportunity to interact with speakers and peers. The other 12 categories are to encourage professional growth in all domains of gastroenterology nursing. Many ask, what exactly is GI specific? Contact hours are considered GI specific if the content is particular to the knowledge gastroenterology nurses need to know to stay current in their field. Non-GI specific contact hours cover content that may be important for gastroenterology nurses to know, but it is information a nurse of another specialty would also need. GI specific criteria is listed out in the recertification handbook, which is available on our website. You will need to submit your recertification application online, but don't worry. You can contact ABCG and staff by phone or email to get um, login information or any help navigating the application. The application has three pages. On page one, you will enter your contact and demographic information. If your contact information is changed, please contact ABCGN in addition to updating the application to make sure that we have the best email and mailing address for you. On page two, you will enter your professional qualifications. It is important to note that this page must be complete to save, including a copy of your RN license. If you do not have a copy of your RN license saved to your computer, 
you can download a verification document from the website www.nursys.com or your state nursing board. On page three, you will enter your contact hour information. This page will save when you click save and continue later at any point. First, determine what category your contact hours belong in. Then click add data in the appropriate category and fill out all the fields. Save the program information and click add data to enter your next program. The application will total the hours you have submitted for you. Once your application is complete, check the box verifying that you have entered at least 100 contact hours. Click continue to enter your credit or debit card information. Recertification fees are subject to change, so check the website for current fees. Keep documentation for all the contact hours you earn. You will not need to submit these to ABCGN unless you're audited, but when it comes to keeping certificates, programs, agendas, and objectives, more is always better. If you don't have these documents and you are audited and you need them, you can usually get them from the organization that provided the program. One in 10 applications are selected for audit. If your application is audited, you will receive an email from ABCGN within two weeks of submitting your application. You will need to email, mail, or fax in your certificates, verification forms, or any other supporting documentation for all the contact hours you have entered in your application. Your, material, your materials will be sent to the recertification committee for review. The committee member reviewing your materials may ask for further documentation if it is not clear from the certificate whether a program is GI specific and you've counted it as such. A program brochure, agenda, or the program objectives work really well for this. Detailed criteria for the 13 contact hours can be found in the recertification handbook on the website. I will also go over the categories in the following slides. Category one for live nursing seminars is the most important. You must earn at least 40 contact hours in this category. Category one contact hours must be approved by the ANCC, a state nursing board, um, or an association that is approved by the ANCC or a state nursing board. The certificate should have CNE or CE listed as the type of hours. Some programs will note how many contact hours are GI specific on the certificate. For those that do not have GI specific hours noted, you will use your best judgment based on the criteria in the recertification handbook. Maintain all certificates, brochures, or agendas in case you're audited. In category two, you can count hours for providing presentations. The presentation must be approved by an accredited provider such as the ANCC. You can count up to 50 contact hours in this category. Three contact hours can be counted for each hour of presentation. If you give the same presentation again, you can count one contact hour for up to two repeats. These contact hours can be GI specific if it is noted on the certificate or the content meets the criteria in the handbook. If audited, you must present the contact hour certificate provided to attendees and a copy of the brochure or agenda showing the topics you presented. If you have authored an article for a professional journal or a chapter in a textbook for a healthcare professional, you can earn contact hours in category three. 10 contact hours are awarded for each article or chapter with a maximum of 50 contact hours allowed in this category. Category three contact hours can be GI specific if the content meets the criteria in the handbook. If you're audited, you will need to provide a copy of the article or chapter as well as a copy of the title page or contents displaying your name. Academic coursework can be counted in category four. You can submit a maximum of 20 contact hours in this category. One semester equals 15 hours and one quarter equals 10 contact hours. These contact hours can be counted as GI specific if the coursework meets the criteria in the handbook. If you're audited, you must send in a copy of your transcript and have earned at least a C in the semester or quarter. Category five is the second most popular after category one. Category five contact hours must meet the same criteria as category one, except they are earned online from a journal or a booklet at home. What defines an independent home study is that it is taken on your own time. A live webinar is attended online, but it is category one because it is live. Um, if you watch the same webinar as a recording, it's category five. You can earn up to 60 of your contact hours in this category. 
Category 6 is for hours earned attending the Item Writers Workshop. The Item Writers Workshop is offered live at least once a year at the SGNA annual course, and additional opportunities will be posted on our website. All contact hours awarded in this category are GI specific, and you can earn up to 20 contact hours in the category. Any contact hours you earn that are provided by, um, for, that are provided as continuing education uh, for professions other than nursing can be counted in Category 7. For example, contact hours approved by physicians um, for physicians or pharmacists would be counted in Category 7. Whether these contact hours are earned in person or online, they will be counted the same. Most certificates uh, will not note how many hours are GI specific, so you'll just have to use your best judgment based on the criteria in the handbook. Keep all the certificates, brochures, and objectives as documentation. If you participate in a re research project, you can count up to 20 contact hours per project in Category 8, with a maximum of 40 contact hours. The project must be independently funded and designed to increase nursing knowledge or improve patient safety or care. The hours can be counted as GI specific if the topic meets the criteria in the handbook. If you're audited, you will need to submit a copy of the published manuscript or validation from a panel of experts if your manuscript is not yet published. If you present a poster at an educational conference or to your unit, you can count hours towards your recertification for the first time um, the poster is presented. There are no additional contact hours for repeating the presentation. The poster must have an education or research focus. Two uh, contact hours are awarded for educational posters, and three contact hours are awarded for research posters. The hours can be counted as GI specific if the topic meets the criteria in the handbook. If you are audited, you will need to submit a copy of your poster and the verification form. Five contact hours can be earned for 80 hours of precepting. No partial credit will be awarded. Precepting must take place in a GI setting, and therefore for all hours earned in Category 5 are GI specific. A maximum of five, five contact hours can be earned in this category. If you're audited, you will need to submit a verification form. You can earn up to 15 GI specific contact hours in Category 11 for volunteering for ABCGN, SGNA, or SIGNIA. Three contact hours are awarded for every year of service. If you are audited, you will need to send in a verification form. ABCGN's item review and item writing committees help to create the CGRN exam. 12 GI-specific contact hours are awarded for each year of service on these committees. You can earn up to 48 contact hours in this category. Volunteering for other GI organizations or publications can be counted in, thir in category 13. Three contact hours per year of service can be, can be earned with a maximum of 10 contact hours. There are a variety of organizations that offer um, contact hours that can be counted towards your recertification. SGNA is a good place to start. They offer live and online courses. They have 62 regional societies that provide education locally. You can find a list of organizations that are approved by the ANCC to provide nursing education at nursecredentialing.org. If you search online for nursing education, make sure that it is approved by the ANCC, a state nursing board, or a nursing association. ABCGN staff is available on weekdays between 9 and 5 Central Time. Let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.